Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I am Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do I really appreciate it. Uh, apologies for not uploading the video for a while. I've been a little bit busy, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I've sort of just been like not allowed if I can, if I can actually film. I don't, I don't know if I can film, sorry. Um, I basically, at the moment, I'm back on the bags again. Uh, in fact, I'm just leaving one of the plants now. And um, so I've been told not to film. So I'm assuming that means don't film in yards like I did before and not don't film at all. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble for doing this, but hopefully we're going to be OK. Um, yeah, we've been doing a bit of bit of all sorts. The last vlog I did a couple of weeks ago is when we were up to Scotland and back. That was when we were doing some boots work. We've been doing boots work since then as well. well I'm going to struggle getting out of here. Uh, yeah, we've been doing some boots work uh, since then. That lorry's coming in. We've also been doing some B&Q work. Uh, and we've been doing some bags work, delivering to builders, merchants and things like that. I actually know that guy. He parked at our yard. Um, so yeah, let me just put the window up, beacons off. So yeah, um, I've been doing a little bit of all sorts really over the last couple of weeks. And um, I kind of like routine. I like knowing what I'm doing, when I'm going and things like that. So I can organize and get vlogs organized and things like that. Um, today, for example, I was actually gonna be going up to Manchester doing a couple of jobs for Boots and I was gonna vlog. Um, so over, all over the weekend, I was anticipating vlogging today anyway, because I thought I was going to be going up to Manchester for, never really been to Manchester before, vlog on the way up there, plus it's for boot, so I won't get in trouble, um, and yeah, just, just vlog. But I'm back on the bags, so I've got to be careful, I'm not filming in any places, um, like green companies, or red companies, or yellow companies, um, all I'm going to tell you is where I'm going, so, um, I'm going to Worcester, <laughs> so that's all I can really tell you. I don't really want to be telling you who I'm going to in case I get in trouble, because um, I don't want to get in trouble. I want to be able to vlog, <clears throat> and uh, I don't want to lose my job. So, <laughs> so yeah. Also, I want to give a shout out to um, to someone I saw the other day. In fact, it was on Friday. I went to um, build. Can't say the name. I uh, went to Andover, <laughs> and. Um, I spotted, uh, well, someone spotted me come over and shook my hand. Let me just put my hat over there. And, um, yeah, he watched my videos. And um, he's, he's been watching all my videos by the sounds of it because he knew I was, used to be a tipper driver and things like that. And he asked me to give him a shout-out. And normally I don't give shout-outs, but because he asked so nicely, I would give you a shout-out. So shout-out to JP Noise. I think that's how you pronounce it. JP Noise, off of Andover. So there you go, that's your shout out. <laughs> and thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. It's quite funny actually, because as I walked in to uh, to the Builders Mark Merchants, um, the guy there, in fact, one of the drivers for that company already knows I vlog. So the uh, yard manager was kind of like, I don't know, I don't really know how to word it. He's not like taking the mick or anything, but he's like, oh, YouTube superstar, things like this, do you know what I mean? And um, it's kind of a, a little bit over the top, like he, he doesn't, really think it's a good or he, he doesn't he wouldn't think it was enjoyable in fact he actually said it's sad so that's the sort of you know that's what he's like so he I, I turned up friday and he was like oh you two superstars in the yard and as he was saying that this guy jp noise come over recognized me and you know i wanted to shake my hand because he recognized me for youtube and the yard manager he just should have seen he should have seen his face it's quite funny in my opinion anyway it was kind of like, oh, they realised you were that many people watch you, sort of thing. And, he, and then he was asking, like, how many people actually watch your videos then? And I was just like, oh, five million, something like that. <laughs> and that's true. I've like, done, done a check um, yesterday, and um, to date, my YouTube channel has received almost five and a half million views. Uh, so thank you, everybody. And um, I've nearly reached 20,000 subscribers. I'm not that far away now. I reckon give it another month and I should be at 20,000. So that's good. So yeah, shout out to JP Noise. Apologies for not doing uh, a vlog for a couple of weeks. Just the schedule has been a bit all over the place and I've, I've not really been doing the same job for more than sort of two or three days in a row. So that's the reason. So yeah, we need to crack on to Worcester 
and uh, yeah, we're going we're going to build as merchants. I would say it's it's not the biggest merchants out there. It's not the merchants that uh, got a problem with me. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying anything else. They're, as far as I'm concerned, they're a decent company, and um, yeah, not got a problem with them. So anyway, let's crack on, and uh, I'll see you when we get a little bit closer. So as far as I'm concerned, everything is cool. I was thinking about uh, showing you a picture of Google Maps of the place, and then with me just commentating what I'm doing, so you can't actually see anything. But yeah, I was thinking of like animating it or something somehow. But um, maybe not, maybe not. We're going to go out a different way to how we come in because you may have seen on the footage on the way in come down like a, a road with cars either side and it's quite tight and the cars are coming down the opposite way as well and um, you know, basically rather than going around I sort of cut through so now I'm going to go around and just see what that's like it should be better I come from over there on the left there should be a better way out in theory the roads are thicker on the sat nav so I'll be more inclined to say they were main roads Go left here, left again. All clear. Left round here. Our trailer's gonna be very close to that post. Oh yes. Oh. The back of the trailer pretty much just skimmed, <laughs> skimmed the post. Very tight. Road. So yeah, this is obviously the main main road to go round. We've got as to there on the right. Lovely weather, isn't it? Oh, they're checking out the cab. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely weather it is today. It has been actually for quite a few days. It hasn't really rained, I don't think, for a while. I can't remember the last time it rained. It might have rained overnight a couple of nights ago, but that's about it. During the day, it's been lovely absolutely lovely all week and last week um i'm gonna wait until those cars go before i cross this of my trailer will be blocking it it will look good now we're going right here all clear everybody please stay behind the giveaway lines Lorry's coming through. Yeah, it's been um, been really nice weather, and those of you who follow me on Facebook will know that I've been on holiday. That's one of the other reasons why I haven't done a vlog in a couple of weeks. I've actually been away, and uh, yeah, we went on the bank holiday weekend and stayed away all week. And it's gorgeous weather all week. Absolutely gorgeous weather. So there's a speed camera up here, 30 miles an hour limit. So make sure you don't go fast to loop. And they're great speed limit. Always a sensible driver. Yeah, so we went on holiday. We had a great time on holiday. We went to Devon. Didn't go abroad or anything. Uh, it was just a nice little week away with the family. Me, my girlfriend and the kids. We all had fun. So that's good. And then when we come back, come back on the Friday, we had Saturday off to relax. And then my boss called me up on Sunday asking me if I wanted to go to work. Uh, the same day, he gave me an hour's notice, and I said, no thanks. <laughs> Thank you, but no thanks. I am actually going to take up both lanes right here. Because that is quite tight. There's a car behind me who just wanted to get, get down the side of me. That wasn't him, that's someone else. But yeah, there's a car, there's a Honda Civic 
on the right hand side, he was going to get down the side of me. I got over. Just to let him know, there's no way I'd get around that about taking up both lanes. Yeah, and then this weekend I went and watched Deadpool 2. That was hilarious. Me, my girlfriend, my mate Craig, who often comments on the page, and his girlfriend Keely. We all went to watch Deadpool together and had an, an all you can eat Indian. It was very, very scrummy. And uh, yeah, we had fun. The, uh, the wedding, the royal wedding, that was on the same day. I, I genuinely didn't know the royal wedding was on until halfway through last week. It just doesn't interest me, and obviously I know it interests some people, like heritage and all that, but it just, me, it doesn't interest me at all. I like to get on with what I've got to do. Now, around here, I don't know, just from this angle, it doesn't look like it's very nice. I might be wrong. Might be wrong, we'll soon see. Ah, okay. So you may have uh, seen already where my Lucy and HTV merch are goes. I've got t-shirts, high visits, hoodies, mugs. Might be getting some more stuff coming along soon. And uh, prices start from £2.50. So if you are interested in any of my merchandise, go check out lucyandhtv.com forward slash shop. It's been something I've been trying to get done for a while. And um, yeah, so thank you very much to all those of you who have placed an order. I think we've sold about 10 hoodies. So that's great. By the way, I don't see all that money. The money doesn't go to me. Um, I'm, I'm openly honest, I get 20% of the sale. So if you buy a hoodie, I make six pounds. But um, that goes straight into making YouTube videos and buying stuff. Like I'm always buying stuff to upgrade for my, for my content. Like I just spent 600 pounds on two new GoPros. So that's sort of, all the money I get from YouTube goes towards all the stuff I pay and put back onto YouTube. Do you know what I mean? So, and the website, the new website I got, so I've got to pay for that. So actually, all, all the uh, hoodies I've sold so far, I haven't actually made any money. <laughs> I've actually lost money because I've got to pay for the website. I forgot about that. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in merchandise, link to hcv.com forward slash shop. Like I said, got loads of stuff on there. Oh, we do have some more stuff coming to the channel soon. I've recently been sent a power bank. Oh, there's a red light. Yeah, I've recently been sent a power bank to review. It's uh, really powerful. It's a 20,000 one. Got a torch on it and everything. I haven't actually used it yet. I've charged it up and uh, that's about it. I haven't actually used it. So I will be using it very soon. I've got loads of ports on it, but I'll go through that on the review. So again, I'm not being paid to do the review. I just get given the product itself. I think it costs like 50 quid down. So pretty good. And it will come in useful because I've done a going to go Silverstone in a few weeks, which reminds me, Truck Fest. It isn't confirmed by my boss that I'm going to Truck Fest, but it has been mentioned that I will be going to Truck Fest, but it isn't confirmed. From what I've been told, um, obviously I represent JK Transport, from what I've been told, I don't know if this is true, but I will be taking three trucks down by myself. There'll be my truck, Bandit, uh, the boss's truck, which is the Polar Bear truck, and then possibly the Tiger truck as well. And the plan is, um, sorry I've been told, I'll be driving one of those trucks down with a low loader with two on the back. So I'll have two, two trucks on a low loader and I'll be pulling them to the shed. So I'm told, but it's not confirmed, so I'm hoping that's going to happen because that'd be really good for me to get uh, to, to load a low loader and good experience. And that'll be at Melbourne Truck Show, which I believe is on the 29th and 30th of June, maybe the 1st of July, something around that, that weekend. And then the following weekend I'm going to Silverstone. In fact, the following the Thursday after I'm going to Silverstone, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So yes, that power bank will come in handy. And uh, hopefully I do get to do that at Melbourne Truck Show. I'll let you know closer to the time if I am going, because obviously you guys need to buy tickets. 
last time I went, uh, loads of you come and said hello. Absolutely loads of you. And that was when I had 10,000 subscribers. I've now got 20,000 subscribers. I'm hoping some more of you will come and see me, come say hello. Um, my plan is uh, to have my cab unlocked, have a, a welcome doormat sign at the bottom of the stairs, and I plan to let you all come into the cab, sit in the driver's seat, see what I see. My GoPro will be here, my GoPro will be there, sat down. Everything will be how it is normally, so you can see what it's like for me, you know what I mean? Flashing the door will be unlocked, flashing, you know, all that. And I'll have, I'll have CCTV in here recording everything, so I'm not worried about anything going this way because I'll have it on CCTV. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's the plan. I plan on going to truck shows at Malvern Truck Fest and uh, letting you all sit in the cab basically and take some photos. That's the, uh, the plan. I think we're pretty much now out of uh, Warburton. Is it where am I? Warburton? I can't even remember where I am now. I'm too busy talking. Worcester, not Warburton. I'm thinking of Warburton, that's where CJC there is from. Anyway, let's put that over there. Let's forget about paperwork. The plan now is to head back to South Cerny, get reloaded, do a local run to Swindon. And then I believe I've got to go to Hunger Good after that. So, let's get back back in. I'll see you in a bit. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV Class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke see you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Right, so there's been an ever so slight change of plan. We are now doing the second job of the day, uh, which is our local run to Swindon, uh, which is where we are now. We're heading into Greenbridge. And um, yeah, I've not actually been to this place before, as with most places actually at the South Surly branch, because normally I'm, I'm operating down to Southampton. Um, but yeah, we're on our way to the Swindon branch now. We're a couple of miles away. Obviously, we've got to sit through some traffic. Um, I was supposed to be going back after this and then doing the Hungerford run, but I got held up at the first job. So um, I think, I'm not 100% sure, I think someone else might be doing the Hungerford run instead. That could probably change. I'll probably get back and I'll end up doing it now I said that. But there was also suggesting that I might actually be going down to Southampton tomorrow morning and operating out of the Southampton branch, but taking a run, get, go back, get preloaded, and then, then taking a run down to um, to Southampton or down that sort of way. So that's what the uh, the current plan is, but everything always changes. Like I said, I don't know if I said earlier. Yeah, I did say earlier. I was supposed to go to Manchester, and then that changed to Southampton, then it changed to South Cerny. So things change all the time, all the time. Just been speaking to my girlfriend, and we're um, she's childminder, and we're contemplating getting a conservatory put onto the end of the house. But we need to get a quote. Stay in lane. Thought that car was going to come over then. Now, in theory, I should be in the left-hand side lane, um, and then default to the left. But in about 700, 800 yards down the road, I need to turn right. But actually, I might go to the left, actually, just to be safe. But I'll be getting straight back over again. Car on the left. Oh, this lane goes into this side anyway. It's always in the right lane. Never mind. We're good to go. So we are, in by default, in the left lane, but I do need to get over to the right. But we'll wait until after these traffic lights. So at the next traffic light, so I need to turn right. Although the sat nav isn't picking up that I can turn right, it's saying I've got to go down to the end. By the way, uh, magic roundabouts is down there and turn right the roundabout. It's like a, I think it's like seven or eight roundabouts in one. It's like nothing to us Swindonians because we, we, we learn to drive going over the magic roundabout, but anybody who sees the magic roundabout for the first time freaks out. Just Google uh, Swindon magic roundabout if you have not heard of it. Right, I need to get over. Any of these 
guy's gonna let me over. Thank you very much. Mr. Nissan is. Yeah, it's Next half of lights would turn right. Ah, so yeah, don't know, don't know what we're doing now. Really bugs me. I like to know what I'm doing. Can't stand it not knowing. Really bugs me. <laughs> anyway, um, something which I posted on my Facebook page. Uh, oh, was it this one? No, it's not this one. It's the next one. Something I posted on my Facebook page um, yesterday or the day before. There's, I don't, I've never done this before, but there's a Kickstarter campaign for a new game, and I quite like the games. I quite like Mr. I like simulation games, and I'm into a bit of policing sort of games as well. And there's this new game coming out called Keep the Peace, which I um, shared on my Facebook page. And it's, I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it. It's a bit like Theme Hospital sort of thing, where you manage things, but to do with police. It's like head above sort of view. And you manage police and you tell them to go around. In fact, it is 3D, it's not like 2D above, it's 3D. A bit like uh, Sim City, for example, like that, but a bit more basic, but um, with, with like police. Anyway, go check it out, it's called Keep the Peace. I did share it on my Facebook page. They've got a Kickstarter campaign on where like people pledge money to go towards the project. I think I pledged 55 quid, something like that and uh, you only pay for it if it actually goes successful and then once the game's released you, you, you own it and I think actually I get like four or five copies four or five copies with the uh, price that I've pledged so I'll probably be doing some giveaways Excellent. Right, so I'm not going to film anymore because I don't want to give away the location that I'm going to so um gonna get tipped and then head back to where we're going I'll give you an update when we know what we're doing ah oh, man it's so hot it's actually cooled down a little bit now it was 27 degrees like 10 minutes ago over there now it's gone down to 21 all of a sudden so it's actually dropped quite fast and I've got the aircon on which helps we are doing another local run to Swindon so not bad we are we've got to go to my favorite company same color as that crane that we're about to overtake and I've got a phone call, so I'm going to have to go. I'll be back with you in a sec. Right, we are just leaving. Oh, where we just delivered to. Not saying where I just delivered to, but I, I am just leaving. Oh, you're a bit wonky. Um, <clears throat> last I spoke to you, I was on the phone. but well, I received a phone call. And we were on our way to this job. Um, so, yeah, that was... Uh, a Swindon run, so we've done two Swindon runs and then the one we did this morning, which was in Worcester, wasn't it? My boss said earlier, I was speaking to my boss, he said, oh, do you know what? I reckon it might thunder later. It's bloody raining now. It's been really nice weather all day today. 27 degrees, 25 degrees. It's 27 degrees right now, according to my, 26 now, according to my thermometer inside my vehicle, 25 now. I'm, I'm driving, so it's going down 24. <laughs> Either way, it's in, it's in the 20s. It's been in the 20s all day today, and uh, it's still in the 20s, but it's raining. It's been really nice weather all day. Now I've got cars coming around. They're gonna come around quite fast. There's a gap, very big gap. Come on, Mr. Honda. Yeah, so um, it's been in the 20s all day today. It's 22 now, I'm saying, and it's raining. I wonder if it will indeed actually thunder and that rhymed. And also earlier I said it hasn't rained in a while and now it's raining, so that's ironic. I think I may have jinxed that. Anyway, the plan is, and again, the plan can change, it always changes. The plan is go back to the bagging plant and get preloaded for the morning. Um, it turns out I am operating out of South Sony again tomorrow, not Southampton. Um, need to get over, no one, seems to realize yet um yes and i got a preload to go to Led ledley so uh that's the plan at the moment but obviously all can change normally does change so we'll uh, let's wait and see now this road goes into one lane i wonder if any of these cars realize that i am of course keeping an eye no they've all gone left so far he isn't and that blue i think it was a smart car that went on the inside of me on the roundabout is now on the outside of me there is he going 
No, I'm going. You got all the way up to the cab and then he stopped. If he carried on going, I would have let him. But he stopped to let that other car out. Ah! So yeah, it's raining now. Looks like I've jinxed it by saying it hasn't rained in ages. ETA back to the plant is five o'clock. Uh, assuming it takes half an hour to get loaded. Um, and then it's like 20 minute drive back to the yard. So should be back to the yard for about six o'clock this evening. And I think I'm starting tomorrow around about six o'clock. So nice 12 hours off. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, let's crack on and I'll see you once we are loaded and uh, confirming where we are actually going. Remember, at the moment the plan is Ledley. And that's it, we're done. We're preloaded and we're not going to Langley like uh, was planned, because obviously plans always change. We're now going to Oxford and we've got to be there for half past six in the morning, which means I've got to be here for five in the morning in order to get there in time. Oh. So yeah, that's today's vlog done and today's done as well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.